All right. So, um, Shakira Richardson, uh, 21 years old. Shakira Richardson, 21 years old. Uh, in the Olympic trials, she came in number one in the 100 meter dash. She obviously historic moment, a uh, big moment, got love from everybody across the world. Michelle Obama um, at the uh, the very emotional moment, talking about the recent passing of a biological mother after that race. W- wins the race. She's off to uh, Tokyo to compete in the Olympics for the United States uh, track team and hopefully bring home gold. Uh, maybe a day or two later, uh, it's been, uh, it got reported, yo, she is not being disqualified from the Olympics. Wording is important. She is not being disqualified, but she will be suspended for a month. Why? Because there was marijuana found uh, in her system after a drug test. If you look out social media, Black Twitter, you will see a lot of the sentiment. And I don't even think uh, it's uh, a reach to say that but a lot of the sentiment being she's black they don't want someone like her long uh, uh, long weave and long colorful hair with long lashes and tattoos they don't want someone like her representing the united states because she's black because she's black and she did this black she did that black and she did that black and that's why they want to cancel her from being able to run in the olympics i looked at that and i was just like all right, let's let's try to decipher through this information as you know as careful as we can. Because if you just stop at social media, you will think that there's some racist shit going on in the Olympics right now, right? Like they like there is racism being pinned against Shakira Richardson, and that's why they don't want to allow her to go to the Olympics. They made up this drug test for crying out loud, right? And before I even continue, I want to say this conversation is not in, I mean, it's about her, but it is in no way casting judgment or any type of opinion about her. If anything, Shakira Richardson admitted to the fact, one, I did smoke weed. The reason I did it is because I was struggling dealing with the recent knowing of my mother who was, t- who, and that information was given to me by a stranger, a reporter, as I'm trying to do my job and prepare for the Olympics and sit down and be available to the media. A stranger of a reporter told me my mother just passed. I don't know this guy from a can of paint. He just said, hey, however it went, yeah, you did good, 100 meters qualified for the Olympics, you're going off to Tokyo. Um, with all that, how do you feel about your mom being dead now? Oh, no one told her? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, how, yeah, how do you feel about it? All right, so she's going through all this traumatic experience. I dread that day. I hope I get to bury my parents versus them burying me, but I dread the day that that has to come for me, myself, personally. Yo, I'm not perfect. Y'all feel free to be perfect if that's what you want to do. I knew the consequences of my actions, and I still chose to do what I wanted to do. This is Shakira Richardson, a 21-year-old young adult was willing to do what most of y'all want when y'all fuck up in life and throw rocks at a glass house and try to hide your hands. She has stood in the midst of her own responsibility and said, yo, I'm going to take that. I'm going through some things right now, and it is what it is. She hasn't asked for nobody's sympathy. She hasn't asked for black people, white people, purple people, green people to support her in no way, shape, or form. And she said it's been about racism that the drug test came up. Again, she admitted Yo, I fired up the blunt. My mama just passed. I'm fucked up right now. Not her words, but, you know, I'm Ebonics, you know. <laughs> I'm messed up right now. Of course. This is what this is what I had to do to try to mentally prepare myself for this, uh, for this Olympic trial. One may even argue, I've never smoked weed before, but one may even argue, yo, if she came to the Olympic trials high, that is a great accomplishment by herself that she smoked everybody. No pun intended. <laughs> you know what I'm saying but again <laughs> again this conversation being about the black community like why do why do we try to why, why do y'all think that conversation immediately went to it's it's because she's racist considering the fact like they didn't randomly say hey we don't like you you want it you look suspicious or we don't like your image let's drug test you This happens to the top three uh, finishers in any Olympic trial. You get drug tested, point blank, period. 
again, whether you're black, white, green, or purple, you get drug tested if you finish in the top three. Like, that's just a part of the standard situation. Like, nobody's exempt from that. And, um, and so, yeah, so uh, today, and again, it wasn't that she was banned. She wasn't that she was suspended. She, well, she was suspended, but it's not that she was disqualified. So with her suspension, it was four months. Uh, the exact day that she had got suspended after the run was July 19th. So from that time, uh, her finishing it for the 100-meter dash, like that was voided, found uh, marijuana, weed, and her drug test. And had she decided to come back after the suspension, that would have still given her the opportunity to compete uh, in the four by one relay. And so it came out today, uh, the uh, US uh, Olympic uh, track team roster came out today, uh, the official roster and Shakira was not on that list. Now, is that a situation of like, well, they just didn't want her or whatever the case may be. The way it works is the uh, top four finishers of like that, whatever country's team and like the individual races automatically secure like the four spots and like the four by one or whatever relay. Then you have two alternates or, or whatever that the actual uh, Olympic relay coach gets to pick. And, uh, and they chose, you know, they chose not to uh, pick uh, Shakiri Richardson, picking other people who had, you know, who were on the team who didn't necessarily fall subject to, you know, failing a drug test, which is absolutely fine. So I said all that to preference people. Like, again, if you, if you just leave it up to social media, you would think she got disqualified because the color of her skin, which is absolutely not the case. For some reason, I don't understand why we always go there. And I know, I think on the opposite side of that, I think, I don't know where, where the fear lies, but I feel like if we don't acknowledge that it could be racism, people will feel like the black, what's as black people will forget about racism altogether. Um, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> I see you black people. I don't think that's the case. But I just, I just think, I think it's a very toxic way of like looking at things, uh, or for who, for whoever doesn't really go out, go out there and do their own research. Um, so, so yeah, man. <laughs> y'all take from that with it. Y'all take it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All I gotta say is, uh, uh, I mean, I, 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 Edward, we, we've talked, uh, we, we've been talking for a while, even before we had this podcast, and you would hear my rant on, you know, how uh, frustrated I was with uh, the Black folks and, uh, and stuff like that. And and uh, and so, you know, I would share all, all of my all of my thoughts and my reasoning behind it. And you would just listen and be like, hmm, okay. You know, you would just let me have it, and, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't come back, but, hmm, you know. Uh, don't say that nowhere else because they won't call you a cool this you do <laughs> And so uh, you know, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm making it fashionable uh to you know to 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 speak this way, but it's uh 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 I don't know. It's it's, it's nice to not feel alone anymore. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh I can't continue on without uh doing my uh my Stephen A. Smith. Get off to <laughs> Uh, uh, but hey, so you you ask you ask why why do black people why do why do we uh, why do we do this um, thing where we always you know anytime anything happens to a black person oh it's racism it's racism uh, there is an idea from uh, uh, from these psychologists out of Israel uh, called the perpetual in group victimhood orientation uh, and basically it's where. Uh, uh, Either someone inside of a group or, or a few people inside of any group uh, have uh, been victimized legitimately at some point, right? And uh, uh, after a while, they never really get over that victimization. And so they always look with uh, trepidation or, or uh, they, they, they don't, they're not trusting of the out group, right? And so anything the outgroup does, they always think that it is with intention to harm the in-group, okay? And now this is not just for Black people. This, is ha this happens all over the place. I promise you, I know white MAGA folks who feel this way, okay? Yep. I, I, in the Republican groups that I'm in, they're so, 
January 6th was a, was this, okay? Uh, but uh, so what I think that this is, is a part of, of, of that, uh, of what they're talking about, uh, uh, the, the in-group uh, victimhood orientation. Uh, because for some reason, always, anytime anything happens, you know, there, there can never be a legitimate reason why, why, something, why something bad might happen to uh, someone who's black. Uh, it's always, always, it's, it's racism. It's, it's the group doing it because because they're black. Da da da. Uh, it's always some nefarious reason, and the black person is never at, never at fault. Uh, so uh, I think that that's something that that psychologists here in America need to look at and try to see. Hey, is that a thing, and how can we get over that? Uh, but I don't think that anyone will risk their tenured position at a university for for that study. So. No. And so, look, before y'all go, uh, Dacious or, or Darnell, so, right, so to, you know, what I just said and what Christian just <clears> said, <throat> one of the comments I had seen out there um, was that, I guess a reason, oh, uh, stand, stand with Shakira Richardson, you know, support her, da 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 Like, I had seen a few comments out there, it was like, oh, y'all is Black people y'all don't understand like not correcting your own kind in front of company right and so i was just like on I, I i see the sentiment and like that take but like when like when do we actually do it then you know what I'm like like <laughs> never you know what i'm saying <laughs> never do it <laughs> you know what i'm saying never because like like because like imagine like again thank you shakiri richardson for accepting the consequences i granted the the circumstances you were under that led you to do that i understand can't nobody tell you how to deal with the grief of losing your parent point blank period uh it obviously then like the argument goes to like oh man it's just weed or whatever like that should be that should be adjusted in some way sh shape or form and then you have people like like for me like i, I kind of felt like like i understood why she did it and i was sympathetic to that but like at the same time, like understanding like where she at, and you could even argue you could if you want to have that argument. Oh, she was white, da 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 da. And like, yo, like I don't wish Sean Hart is over on here because he commented uh, he commented under a post that I seen from like Sports Center, and, and like there's this argument like if you're black and you subscribe to rules or rules off with your head <laughs> and I'm just like I'm just like so I can't really be black if I feel like rules are rules and have we standard are... and structure I can't have standard and structure be a part of my life and be black too that's what you're saying hey listen our ancestors have been telling us our whole lives that we have to work double the amount to get half of what they get and she gonna just smoke weed Hell no! She took it like a champ. Then she went and sat down. Yeah. For you to be still mad about it, now we on your ass now. <laughs> now we on your ass. And here's the thing, too, right? Considering all that she's gone through mentally, if think about this. If she was distraught as she was to think she carried, no, your mama just passed, boo, her talking to herself. You spark up this L. May, <laughs> if you if you smoke this weed right now, it may cost you going to Tokyo. It's gonna have to be what it's gonna be. What makes you even think at that point she care about Tokyo? Yeah, she might not. I mean, also, she, <laughs> I mean, I mean, man, you know, uh, she didn't. I, I didn't know this is the first time I said if I get caught. Fuck yeah, this is it's actually the first time because I, I haven't been following it. Yet, like like y'all y'all know, I've been in my little my little hole, so I really don't know what's going on above the surface, but. Uh, the, the fact the fact that you know she she had this high moment that she was going after and then immediately afterwards she hears about her mom from somebody just trying to ask her a question trying to get a trying to get a gotcha right uh and we've talked about reporters on the show before uh so you know uh i can see how somebody anyone but especially a 21 year old especially a 21, a 21 year old who who, you know, probably, probably her mom was the one taking her to her track meets when she was younger. Probably her mom was the one who maybe made her stay out uh, after practice a few times and say, hey, that practice wasn't good enough. 
probably her mom who didn't let her go out and play who, or, or who didn't let her run at one of her meets because she didn't do her homework. There's probably, you know, something along the way that, hey, I wouldn't have got here, you know, without her. And now I can't celebrate with her. And I find out from this fool. <laughs> right. You know, that's, that's, that's hard to take. So we can understand why she would go do that. And then also, too, her, her having an attitude, hey, I'm only 21. I probably would go there and win the gold. Uh, I'll be 25 at the next round. I'll be eligible for the world of, I think, is it called the world championships? It's something in between. Oh, I'll be eligible for the worlds next year. My name is out there. People know me. F it. I'll take my chances. Because this, this, is, this, is this is what I got and this is what I know. So yeah. I get that. But also, too, her, her taking the responsibility, hey, look, consequences, Black folks, consequences, or actions do have consequences. They do. She was rewarded for many actions that, that, that she took prior to that by, by winning, by winning uh, 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 spot onto the, the team, um, being decided to probably win a gold. Uh, at 21, she, she, she understands that there are consequences and rewards for actions. And so she understood that she's moved on. She probably trained again for the, for, for, for the next, Already. you know what I'm saying? Already. She, yeah. uh, and, and again, this isn't, if there, there's, this isn't about picking at her or why did she do this? We yeah. understand yeah. and we support we're why she did not, This is not. about everybody else who's yeah. making it. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? Everybody that's on the bandwagon, oh, let's support her. Let's support her. Let's support her. Let's Let support her run. Her. No, let's learn from her. Everybody who's trying to bandwagon to come out and protest against the Olympic Committee and protest against the U.S. Uh, team uh, and all this stuff, no. Let's not get behind her. Let's learn from her. She understands that actions have consequences and rewards. We must learn that. And we must we must learn that, hey, we gotta we gotta go with it. Go ahead, go ahead, brother. So back to what I was saying earlier. So this is this is the problem that I have with black people, bro, is that you know what I'm saying? This is not the time. She was not the time to get upset. It's some other stories that's going on with the Olympics. That yeah, we need to we need to visit this shit. You know what I mean? But we waste time, guys, when we're arguing shit that we really have no business arguing. And it's like, and then I'm going to sit back like, like, this is, for example, I'm white. I'm going to be like, okay, so you niggas just mad all the time then because <laughs> you mad when she fuck up and you mad when we fuck up. So y'all niggas just mad all the time, but like, we can't really do anything. <laughs> we just going to be racist for forever and it's just like, fuck it. Fuck y'all having to put in work for us to see y'all in a different light. Yeah, just be mad and allow us to just look at y'all mad as fuck about the wrong shit. And then when y'all mad for the right shit, you cry wolf of the you cry wolf 355 times already. Fuck y'all being mad. That's what yeah. happens. Now when we get well, now we get on these other conversations about these women and they testosterone. No, y'all wanna stay stuck on this girl smoking weed, bro. Like if she already was like. I'm, I'm good. Fuck it. Yeah, I smoke weed. My mom died. Suck my dick. You know what I mean? So, like, <laughs> what we look like trying to fight a fight. Yeah. You're not even fighting. There, there